the properties palette is a panel that shows you the instance properties of the currently selected element or if no element is currently selected the properties of the current view to display the properties palette select any element in the project such as a wall and then notice that on the left of the contextual ribbon is a button labeled properties palette if you click on this button Revit Architecture displays a panel labeled Instance Properties. This panel is initially docked on the left next to the project browser, but notice that the panel can be undocked and floated anywhere in the drawing window or on the desktop. When floating, I can click and drag on an edge of, or corner to resize the Properties palette. Once open, the panel remains open if you deselect the element. For example, if I press the Escape key to deselect the wall, notice that the panel remains open, but now it shows me the instance properties of the current view. I can also move the Properties palette and dock it to any edge of the drawing window. When docked, the panel expands to fill the space along the edge. This causes the Properties palette to take up space that could otherwise be used by the drawing window. So most users will want to float the panel, perhaps leaving it on the desktop, or if your computer has multiple monitors, even dragging it onto a different screen. You can use the tools in the Properties palette to modify the instance properties of the current element or view. To close the properties palette, click on its close button in the upper right hand corner.